Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov with a cool project that I want to showcase today. So imagine I have this to do MVC application. I've shown it when I showed how to test an application by using the keyboard input only. I made this test actually fail. So instead of three items, like it should be, I sorry, there are four. The test fails. Now what happens on CI? Let's take a look. I pushed the branch. We can look at the commit. Notice it failed. Let's look at the circle. Okay, so we have a failing test, right? We see a video and screenshot. In my circle configuration, I'm saving these artifacts as files on circle using Cypress Circle CI Orb. So we can find the screenshot and the movie right here. We can look at the screenshot. And it shows what we kind of see inside the application iframe. Now, what's wrong right it's hard to actually tell is the structure of a page correct or not we cannot inspect the dumb elements we cannot check the attributes we cannot look at the css we only have a screenshot now screenshot helps but it's not the whole thing we can look at mp4 of the test run okay that looks reasonable but again we cannot actually interact with the page we cannot open dev tools we cannot inspect the structure look at the attributes and see why it failed. So here's a, an exciting project that I've been working on. It's called Cyclop. And as you can see, it's way too early to use it in, in your code, but let's see if we can actually use it in our example. I'm using npm, so I will install it. We have to add it to our plugins file right here. I don't actually think that it requires anything, but just in case, let's return the config. Maybe there are some things that have been updated. And what else? So currently it has only two methods or two functions. We can save a page on demand and it's going to save a full page of application or this is something that I like for this project. We can save a page if the test failed. Okay, so I will take this utility, import into my spec. Usually I would put it into the support file. So it applies to all tests, but I don't have a support file for this particular project. I only have a single spec. So I'll say any test fails, then save a full page of application, not just a screenshot. Okay. So, and this will save Cypress slash failed folder. Okay, so we probably want to save that after we store the artifacts, which we can do using Cypress Orb. We just have to save post steps and save Cypress failed folder. Okay, let's see if this works. Added Cyclop and let's push the code to CI. I'm going to back. I'm gonna go back to CI. A new job has started running. It has to reinstall because the package.json has been updated because we installed a Cyclop plugin. Now after installation, it starts running the test. So the test is supposed to fail, which it did. And I think I see a message from Cyclop plugin saying, making a folder you know, for the full page, Cypress failed. And this folder should be under artifacts. Okay, it's right here. So the way it's formed, it's Cypress failed slash the name of a spec file that has failed, and the name of a test that has failed, and then index HTML. If there are any local re you know, resources like images, styles, and so on, they'll be saved as well automatically. The cool thing about Circle is that it provides static web hosting. So I can directly click on the index HTML and see the full page loaded as a static page. Check this out. It is a full page just like we see inside Cypress or running it locally, except for zero JavaScript, right? This is all just a dumb snapshot of the page with no code running. Literally, zero JavaScript. It's just a dumb snapshot. It uses exactly the code that Cypress itself uses to take dumb snapshot. So only with static HTML methods are working, nothing here works. Right? The anchor leaks are present, 
but they don't do anything. We can open the dev tools, look at the elements, okay? And again, this is all a snapshot of application as it was at that particular moment. So now you can understand if all components rendered, if different feature flags applied or not, you can fully inspect the page at that particular moment of failure.